there. I just wanted to give some tips to those who have been natural for a year or a little bit more than a year. I um basically myself, I did the semi big chop back in February two thousand eight. After transitioning for a few months, um, my last relaxer was back in the summer of 2007. So um, I've been natural for six years now. Well, natural since February 2008. And um, basically, I wanted to share some of the things that I've learned since being natural. And um, basically, if you're viewing this, um, and you've been natural for a year or more, you know, you probably know by now what works for your hair and what doesn't work. I know a lot of people when they first go natural, they, um, they're like a product junkie or whatever and they buy all these products and find out like a lot of them don't work for their hair and then they find out different um, techniques and things uh, for their hair and what doesn't work for their hair and they find out different methods and things like that. Where for me, I said the number one thing that I learned, um, you know how they always say you got to seal in the moisture and all this stuff. Well, um, I would say after about five years in, yes, five years, um, now I was taking care of my hair pretty, pretty well. Um, I was keeping my hair in protective styles and things like that. But then the fifth year, I got a little bit too heavy handed with like the oils and stuff and I was doing the um, the oil rinses and um, I will actually use olive oil on my hair and so um, I would use like so much olive oil on my hair so then my hair started shedding a lot and, and breaking and stuff so I didn't know what was going on but come to find out I was using so much olive oil and I was doing some reading online and it says that um, especially if you don't wash the oil out properly and then other like product residues out, um, it can clog your um, scalp pores and things and um, stunt growth. So um, last summer, and it was right about this time last summer in July of 2013, my hair was like shedding like crazy. I mean crazy and I was having like breakage like crazy. I had never experienced like shedding and breakage like that before. And um basically cause prior to that my hair was um was doing pretty well. Like I mean I was like on point with everything. I was I was like moisturizing my hair like I supposed to, um washing it like I was supposed to, um, I was using um, coconut oil, which is really, which is, is still good for my hair. Um, and I remember I was hearing people, you know, talking about their different experience about breakage and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I've been natural for four and a half, going on five years, and I never had breakage. But then all of a sudden, last summer, it was just, it was just crazy. And then also I was being kind of like lazy and neglectful of my hair I was like yeah my hair is a certain length it's past my um, shoulders and it's um, almost like because um, it was like um, like armpit pit length and I'm a little bit um, down my back I was like yeah I was like I'm doing good and then all of a sudden I had to set back and so I had to this year um, I had to up like everything I um, started to um, like eat eat like more um, protein and then also I was taking more vitamins like prenatal um, vitamins and stuff like that and then earlier this year um, I started taking um, biotin which I had to stop taking because that started making me sick so um, yeah, I learned that about not using too much oil on my hair and um, just I learned not to neglect my hair. Um, and also um, what I've, I've learned um, since being natural, you know, um, pretty much um, have my own regimen, not really trying to copy someone else's um, regimen because I'm like the only one that knows what will work for my own hair not you know everybody else 
So, um, you know, I learned that. I also um, learned about um, different other like oils and things like that, about castor oil. I um, ordered, speaking of castor oil, I ordered um, the extra, let me grab it right quick. Um, it's called the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and it's the extra dark one for extra potency. Um, it's, um, this one, y'all can see. And it's more powerful, it's supposed to be more powerful than the regular Jamaican um, Black Castor Oil. So I've been using this, and I ordered this from Amazon.com. And um, pretty much, I, I like, I've been using it for a couple of months, and I noticed that where my edges started thinning at, that my edges are coming back in um, nicely. I've been using also on my edges emu oil, which has been working um, really well. So, and plus I've been getting more protein in my diet. And I've been, to get more protein in my diet, I've been eating like, um, the first, like back in 2012, y'all remember, um, those of y'all that have been following me for a while, um, I adopted the pescatarian diet, which all I was eating was like fish, and that's the only like pretty much meat I was I was eating to get my protein. But then this year I just started eating pretty much just regular um like I started even eating beef again and chicken and stuff, and um I've seen like a difference in my hair and how stronger it's been getting. But I want to cut back on I have cut back on the beef and um the chicken and stuff and um I, I'm eating like more fish I have been eating some turkey but not too much and I've been taking these protein pills and I've showed this before it's called the concentrated pre-digested protein which um they're pre-digested amino acid supplements which have been really good for I've noticed um for my body and my hair so um I also um, learned about, um, you know, taking, getting more iron in my diet so I won't have an iron deficiency. So I've been taking iron pills as well. So, um, you know, I've learned those different things since I've been um, natural. Um, and y'all comment below about what have y'all been, y'all have learned since y'all been natural and did the um, big chop and been natural for maybe a year, two years, sometimes three years maybe six years or seven years like I have. Anyway, y'all, um, let me know. Um, leave y'all comments below. Y'all